welcome to my channel and this video is titled <clears throat> recovering from a narcissist how will you know if it's genuine so this video came about um, the other night I was going down the Instagram rabbit hole of the whole free Britney movement whole other story for a whole other time Woo, child so then I start watching um, people doing random acts of kindness for strangers waterworks are flowing right i'm crying off my moisturizer crying off all my skin treatments right and balling right so i'm just a mess i mean i'm a girl i'm hormonal i'm emotional and it's also i don't know if i would say triggering but i was feeling some type of way you know i, I was feeling some type of way it started conjuring up some just some thoughts right so then I start watching, you know, like uh, family members and boyfriends and girlfriends and husbands and wives doing acts of kindness for the people that they love. Oh, honey, I flipping lost it. I'm just a, a, a flipping mess. Then it got me to thinking. I thought, gosh, you know, will there ever be a day when someone who not only tells me that they loves that they love me but they really love me like they really honestly love me and they're really doing these nice kind things for me because they love me and not because they're trying to cover up something oh honey waterworks were flowing i was all in my feelings right all in my feelings i hate that but then it, it, it got me to thinking um, so the narcissist in question is Mr. Michael Caruso, the almost 60 year old narcissist, 58, I think. Okay. Lied to me, cheated on me for seven years with a disgusting, nasty prostitute that I actually worked with for a full year, smiled in my face, stabbed me in the back, right? Watch all those videos. So he was the most horrible gift giver I have ever met. And at first, I was just like, God, how can you be so awful? Well, when you don't care about someone, you just don't care in general, right? Um, the most awful gift giver ever. And, you know, it's not like he was messing up stuff like, you know, he, he failed at giving me Gucci handbags and Rolex and Cartier it wasn't even the big stuff okay it was the little things you don't even know my favorite flower or no you know you don't care my favorite flowers my favorite chocolates um my favorite candles you know the little things because honey while i love the big things like the big things are good it's the little things that make me go oh my god like one of my girlfriends one time years and years and years ago got me and it was from target okay the cutest little fuzzy socks okay they were fox socks because you know it's my last name they were these cute pink socks and they had a little fo i mean it was just the cutest thing ever they were what maybe like eight bucks and she was like here lee i saw this and i, I was like oh my god kept those socks until they had flipping holes in them and i could not wear them anymore right like i was just head over heels for that like it's the little things it's the little things. I mean, the big things are nice, but it's the little details that make me go. So, yeah, didn't know my favorite. Oh, no, he knew he didn't care. Okay, the most horrible gift giver. Um, so then after I found out about the cheating, which, watch all the videos. So Valentine's Day of 2020, I was scarred for life after that of receiving flowers from this person because he for valentine's day oh honey he made a huge spectacle now he um brought me flowers and so for valentine's day gift okay and since he was a horrid gift giver i was told him just give me cash okay cash is king always now you know i'm an adult i can buy my own gifts so anytime someone's like oh what do you want for christmas or your birthday i'm like I don't know like I buy what I want like give me cash I mean you know cash I can put it in the bank you know I'll 
Use it when needed. He told me, and this makes me laugh. <laughs> this makes me flip and laugh. He would never give me cash. He would give me gift cards. He would tell me, I don't like giving you cash. It makes me feel like I'm your sugar daddy. Baby, you could never be my daddy. Okay, like, honey, no, no. You think $100 is making you my daddy? Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so that always made me laugh. So what am I going to do with a gift card? I can't deposit a gift card. Like, it, I'm just like, no, honey, you ain't my daddy. You're never going to be my dad. Like, just what in the world, okay? So even then, when he gave me, I'm like, F am I going to do with this? I can't deposit a gift card, okay? So anytime after I found out about the cheating, he would randomly stop by and bring me flowers, which, by the way, still hard, still hard, hard flowers. And I'm just like, oh, so are you giving me flowers because you had sex with Trina the night before? And, well, no, you never felt bad because, honey, if you felt bad, you never would have went back. But you kept going back and going back to quote Michael Caruso three or four times. So you just brought me flowers because it got you off to get over on me. Or because Trina and I live less than five miles away from each other. So you get flowers. You stop by your real girlfriend's house. She's not home. She's out with another John. So instead of letting these $15 flowers go to waste, you stop by my house. Like, honey, I just, I just can't, right? It disgusted me. And then the, the one time he actually bought me flowers that were pretty, flowers that I would have bought for myself, I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at your Kobe gift. I don't, because remember, remember when Kobe bought Vanessa that flipping rock of a necklace because he cheated on her with that chick in Colorado? No, baby, I, I, I don't want that. So it's like, I'm looking at this, whether it's pretty or not, it's not genuine. Throw that, throw it away, right? So as I'm watching these videos, and, I, and I'm thinking about Mr. Michael Caruso, and then it clicks um, one of my most favorite book series, and I talked about this previously, The Click. My most favorite book series ever. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, well, in that series, the main character... Um, there's a little thing going on where her friend finds out this guy's cheating on her. And she's like, oh, well, he's buying me all these gifts and blah, blah, blah. And the main character is like, anytime a guy buys you a lot of gifts, he's trying to hide something. Yes. Yes, indeed. And so then it got me thinking. I'm like, did Michael Caruso jade me for the rest of my life? Am I never going to be able to trust anyone again? Because remember, this guy lied to my face. Oh, I love you. I love you. You're who I want to be with. No, there's no one else. No, no, no. Like just feeding me, as Larry David would say, a jet stream of BS coming out of your mouth for five years. Valentine's Day of 2020, I go through this person's phone and I'm floored, talking trash about me, um, cheating on me. Then the things that I did know of him disinviting me on a trip, uh, posting photos of me. I did videos on all this, by the way, right? And here's one thing that just really made me nauseous, amongst other things. How are you going to disinvite me on a trip? You told me. I'm going to ruin the trip with my bad attitude, right? Just invite me on a trip. I catch you cheating, and now all of a sudden it's, oh, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'll take you to Jamaica. I'll take you to the Virgin Islands. I'll take like, no. Oh, so now I'm good enough to take on a trip? Now I'm good enough to where I'm not going to ruin the trip with my bad attitude? Take that trip and shove it, which is basically what I said. And of course, got radio silence. No, honey, that might work for your little prostitutes. What? 
oh, I'm going to spend three grand on a trip and she'll be happy. Get out of here, dude. I can only think of if I ever would have traveled out of the country with that person. It, it, no, no. Um, so it, it really makes me think, it, am I jaded for the rest of my life from this person? Am I ever going to be able to open up my heart when someone tells me they love me? Like, am I ever going to be able to trust? As of right now, no. No, not at all. Um, and I was talking to one of my girlfriends. Um, I have sp spoke about her in previous videos. Uh, she and I pretty much bonded over the fact that we were in the same situation. I was with someone who lied to me, cheated on me for seven years. Same situation with her, right? Um, and, you know, she keeps going back to the sky, like I kept going back to this person and, you know, we had the same thing in common. There's nothing else to do. It's comfortable. We keep going back. And, um, she's always dressed to the nines. She has the best jewelry, watches, handbags. Like, I mean, just, she's very stylish, right? And every time I'm like, oh my God, girl, you know, I love your watch. I love your bag. Like, oh, it's so great. And she's like, yeah, thanks. And she's like, yeah, he got it for me. She was like, she's like, that's the thing. She's like, he, he buys me all this stuff. She was like, I would never buy this stuff for myself. She's like, he buys it for me. She's like, and since, you know, I don't, I would never buy this for myself. She's like, I just wear it. And, you know, I, I kind of get where she's coming from in a sense, but I'm like, I wish I could be like, girl, same. I can't say that. He's a horrible gift giver. But even if he was a good gift giver, I don't know if I could wear. Honey, he, he doesn't know style if it would hit him on the back of the head. But let's just say for argument's sake, I don't know if I could wear his Cartier watch. I don't know if I could always look at that and be like, oh, yeah, this is a gift because my boyfriend um, had sex with a prostitute and felt bad about it. Like, I don't even know. Um, but, you know, how will you know if it's genuine? And the scary thing is, you don't, you don't know if it's genuine. Basically, you have to take a chance. You have to take a leap of faith. You have to put your heart and soul into, is this person being honest with me? Is this person being genuine with me? And it's a scary thing to be in because once you've had your heart broken, oh baby, there's, there's not a lot to come back from. Like, um, the other night I was hanging out with some of my homeboys. And let me tell you, hanging out with your homeboys is just as important as hanging out with your girlfriends just as important, right? So I'm out with some of my homeboys and, you know, we're talking about love and life and just, you know, all of that. And they're talking about how they got their heart bro broken. They got their heart broken and they're, I mean, not wanting to put their heart into anything else, right? It's funny because I gotta, I gotta say something real quick. Um, so I, you know, they know my situation and, we were talking about things and I was like, yeah, I, I, I just don't get it. And, um, the guy was like, so, so who's the girl he cheated on you with? I was like the bird from the labyrinth. Some of them knew what that movie was. Some of them were like, wait, what? As I said, Google it, Google bird from the labyrinth. So they're on it. Right. And they're like, and I remember one, one of my homeboys, he was like, Lee, somebody really looks like this. And I said, hold on, hold on. So pull up my phone, pull up her photo, right? Actually, a few photos. I'm like, they're like, oh, Lord. They're like, really? I'm like, like you always think when someone's going to cheat on you that they're going to be like a top 10 Playboy model. Oh, no, 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 they're not. And even my homeboy said, you know, guys will bang who they can not who they want, you know? And so we're talking about love and heartbreak and 
I mean, at least I'm not the only person who thinks and feels this way, but it's like, geez, am I going to be guarded for the rest of my life? Am I never going to let my guard down and just be with someone? Probably not for a really, 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 really long time. And, you know, not only do I have a lot of hatred towards Michael Caruso, I have a lot of self-hatred. I have so much self-hatred because I saw the red flags. I knew the red flags. I did not want to accept those red flags. I thought, oh, it'll change. Oh, it'll be, I just, yeah. I, so I broke my own heart, essentially. So um, recovering from a narcissist. How will you know if it's genuine? Fortunately, I don't think you'll ever know if it's genuine or not. You have to, I guess, take a chance. Taking a chance is scary. Uh, gambling, I'm not a gambling person. I'm not. I don't like gambling. I don't like taking that chance. So oh, I wish I had all the answers, but basically it's put your faith in it and see what happens. Roll the dice. Ugh. <laughs> but thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. See ya.